beginner's guide to davinci resolve for the ipad keep watching till the end cause i'll show you a trick by which you will be able to unlock all the workspaces of davinci resolve for free so let's get right into it all right so firstly let's open up davinci resolve i'm currently in the 18.6 version in this window basically you'll be able to see all your existing projects and also create new from here so let's create a new project i'm gonna name this as edit and there we have our entire workspace. In the default version, you only get two pages, which is the cut page and the color page. Like I said, in the end of the video, I'll show you how you can get more workspaces. Let us start by importing a video. So I can go to this option called import media. From there, I'll have to select the folder where I have all the clips. So I've imported four videos, one photo and one music. So I'll be showing you how you can use them all. So for importing a video, you can simply hold a video and drag and drop into the timeline below. And as you can see, it will be imported straight away. So we have imported one video and before we move further, I'd like to tell you that you can't really pinch to zoom in DaVinci in this cut page. So for that, we'll be needing the edit page that will allow us to do that. But that is a bit advanced, so we'll be covering that a little bit later. But for now, you have two panes by which you can navigate. One is the top part over here. You can simply slide it over. Else, if you want to make some minute adjustment, you can just use the scale over here. All right, so let's import another footage. So let me just import this footage for now. I can simply drag it and drop it to this above layer and just position it. Else you can just take your timeline till the end and then just import the video over there. So what if you wanted to make a cut in the video? You can just simply select the area where you want to cut and press on the scissor icon and it will cut it for you. Similarly, let's just cut the other half and now it has created this entire new clip for us. Now you can simply select that and hit that thrash can icon below and it will delete it for us. It's that simple. Similar to the video, you can also import the audio that way. I have the song over here. So I'll just simply drag and drop it to the timeline below. And as you can see, it has imported the song for us. And now you can just click on it and click on the two markers to increase the size so that it starts from your desired location. Now let's take a look at the video controls. For example, if you wanted to rotate a video or you want to zoom in, or perhaps you might want to crop a part of a video, you can simply click that button called inspector. First select your footage and then click this button called the inspector and this tab will open up. From here, you basically have all the transform controls. You can zoom in or out to a footage. You can like change the position, take it on top or bottom. You can even crop from the left, right, top and bottom, or even rotate your videos. I think we can explain this better with a photograph. So let's just import this photo. It's basically a logo. So in this way, you can also import your logos and stuff. Now select the photo and click on the inspector. And now let's just resize it, make it really small and take it on the top left, for example. I think that's about fine. And if you scroll down, there will be an option called composite. From there, you can even adjust the opacity of your clip. So yeah, that's really handy if you just wanted to blend in your videos like that. And yeah, I kind of forgot to introduce myself. So hey guys, my name is Prithviraj. I'm an electronic music producer, a part-time gamer, and I also try to make videos. All right, so let's now add some basic transitions to our videos. So on top, you can see there is an option called transition. So simply click on that. And from there, let's just add a simple cross dissolve. So let's just drag and drop it to your clip. Let's do it on our logo for now. And you can adjust the duration of your dissolve by adjusting the two bars over here. And as you can see, the logo is kind of fading in. We can do the same for the video as well. So we want the video to fade in to start as well. So let's just simply drag and drop cross dissolve on top of that and adjust the duration. And now you can see this just slowly blending in the way we want it to. Similarly, while selecting your audio clip, if you click on the inspector button, you will have all the audio controls over here. So from here, you can increase or decrease the volume. Let's just decrease the volume for now because it's a bit too loud as per my liking. So yeah, let's just decrease it a bit. It even has an equalizer if you wanted to tweak your audio and EQ some stuff. But now we'll be just decreasing the volume a bit. And what if you wanted to add some text to your video? If you take a look at the top beside the transitions, there will be an icon called titles. Simply click on it and you'll get various options to choose from from the left hand side. So for example, you can choose between whichever title you want. You can have a basic text or something like that. But for now, let's select the left lower third. So there will be a text on the bottom left side. Now simply import it on your timeline and now again click on inspector. So keep this simple thing in mind. Whenever you need to tweak a few settings, always go to this inspector tab. So from the inspector tab, we can like rename the text. So from title, let's change it to wow, because why not? And let's change the sample text to brah. Bra. And also from here, you can change whatever you want. Like you can change the font, the size and the font color and stuff. Let's change it to gray in color for now, because I think that looks good. And you can again pull it from both the sides to resize your clip. You can even add transitions to your text. For example, let us again add the cross dissolve to both the sides. And now when I play the video, as you can see, it will just blend in and then blend out. So that's kind of neat. This is the fun part. This is the actual reason why many people use DaVinci Resolve. 
that is because of the color controls so far we have only been working in the cut page so from here let's just open the color page and as you can see there's a lot more controls now and it can be a little bit scary so no worries i'll guide you through this block over here is called a nodes consider this as multiple layers so we can again create a new layer over there by clicking on this button so we'll have two nodes for this case let's just make some basic adjustments on the first layer or the first node and we can do some advanced color effects on the second node so let's do it so for this one let's just increase the shadows a bit so that we get more of a brighter photo or maybe you can increase the contrast and the saturation a bit as well i think that looks fine this is a bit advanced of the color grading aspect so i recommend that you check out some basics tutorial for now but i'm showing you what you can do with it we even have the tone curves so we can get the look we want so let me just increase the highlights and decrease the shadows so that we get a contrasty kind of look and in the second layer maybe let's just change the color of this building over here so you can just take the eyedropper tool and select the color and now we can just change any of the color curves for example let's just change the spider-man curve i call it the spider-man curve and let's make the building pink or perhaps orange why not so let's just drag it up there and you can get anything you want so the possibilities are endless when it comes to the color grading so i definitely recommend you invest some time learning the aspects of color that will help you up your game even more and let's take another footage for example for example this is a bit warm and bright footage so let's make it a little bit cooler by changing the temperature to blue and maybe we can decrease the shadows and the highlights so that we get more of a dark kind of look or you can just increase the highlights and the shadows if you wanted it to look more brighter and now once you're done with everything like you've added your music you've added your logo you've added the transitions made all the cuts and even did some color grading let's talk about exporting the video so on top there will be an option called export so simply click on that and the best part about this is that DaVinci Resolve actually offers you to export ProRes videos even in the free version. If you're into professional filmmaking, you exactly know what I'm talking about. But if not, don't worry, I'll be showing you other ways. For example, you have various presets for YouTube, TikTok, Twitter or wherever you want. X, not Twitter though. But if you wanted a basic export, you can just select on H.264 and it will do the job. And then hit on export. And also if you want to save this project file, you can simply click on share and you'll be able to share it with others. By this way, you can open this timeline onto your PC as well if you have DaVinci over there. So those were pretty much the basics like importing all your media, cutting it, then adding music and transitions and color grading. And we even added some text over there. At the start, I promise that I'll show you how you can unlock all the workspaces in DaVinci. If you have used DaVinci on your computer, then it will look exactly the same way. You'll have all the tabs. So I'll show you how you can do that. And if you have been enjoying this video so far, then I'd really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button. For this to work, you basically need a keyboard. You can use a Bluetooth keyboard or you can simply attach a wired keyboard using a USB hub. So let me just connect my keyboard real quickly. Simply hit on command option and K on your keyboard and this keyboard preferences option will load up. And from here, scroll all the way down and you'll get this option called show page. As you can see from here, we can like open up any page we want. The edit page, the fusion page or the fair light page or whatever you want, you get it. So this will basically allow us to create a shortcut for all these pages. So for example, for edit page, it's command minus for me. So let's go ahead and click on command minus. And as you can see, there is a third page that has been loaded up over here. Now, if you click on that, we have the entire edit page. So this basically looks exactly the way it should in your PC or on your Mac. I don't know why DaVinci did not increase this from the start. I don't know why we have to go through such a lengthy process just to open up the edit window. Makes no sense, but yeah, it is what it is. So previously I mentioned you can't pinch to zoom on the timeline, but in this edit page, you actually can do that. And it's so satisfying to be honest. I can do this all day. But anyways, let's just open the other workspaces as well. So now we simply have to add a keyboard shortcut for other pages. So if you wanted to do some VFX work as well, so we can just enable fusion. I'm using command zero to enable fusion and also command hyphen to enable the fair light. That's the audio controls. But the thing is that if you restart DaVinci, everything will go away. So that's the sad part. You have to use your keyboard shortcuts to summon them again and again. So I'm just gonna press Ctrl and minus for the edit tab, Ctrl and o zero for the fusion and Ctrl and apostrophe for the fusion, fair light, sorry. <laughs> it kind of gets confusing over time. If you have used DaVinci for your PC, you now have the exact same workspace on your iPad as well. So yeah, that's kind of neat. By this way, you can even turn on the deliver page so that you get more controls while exporting your video. You, you can exactly get your desired codec that way. But yeah, those are advanced stuff. So you can simply export your videos in H.264 like I previously mentioned. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The beginner's guide for DaVinci. We pretty much learned everything from importing to exporting our videos. And also I showed you how you can unlock all the workspaces on DaVinci Resolve. Before this, I was actually a hardcore Premiere Pro user, but I recently switched to DaVinci Resolve. So if you want to know why I exactly switched to DaVinci Resolve from Premiere Pro, then click here. I've shared 
everything I like about this software. So yeah, check that out if you're interested in that. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you there.